Hi everyone, it's your boy Lucy Dreamer, back with another indicator showcasing video. This video is going to be about the RSI support and resistance by DGT, which is definitely innovative and fairly useful. If you ask me, uh, the, I really like the idea behind it and the overall concept of this indicator, so let's get to it. As DGT states that this indicator is getting the threshold levels regarded as overbought and oversold from RSI and making them to be plotted on our chart as support and resistance levels which is uh, definitely innovative and actually impressive because all the support and resistance we get are from the actual price pivots, right? But this, uh, by, by this, we can uh, identify some support and resistance points regarding to the momentum of the price because RSI uh, is a momentum indicator being consisted of uh, some overbought and oversold levels, right? And I definitely hope that DGT is going to publish some more scripts regarding this overbought and oversold concept with other indicators than RSI. So uh, let's check our RSI right here. For example, RSI was in an oversold state around here and then the script got that area and plotted the uh, price on the, plotted the support area from the price hitting the oversold zone, right? And then we had a nice resistance point and then here. It also uh, considered as an oversold area because you can overlay the RSI on your chart and then the DGT's RSI on your chart plots the 40 and 30 lines along with 70 and 60 as overbought and oversold channels so it's when the RSI was around the 32 area here it was in the over salt zone and it plotted this price area as a support as well and it broke down and hit a resistance again and so and so so for example around this level the and this level the price was in a resistance zone the uh, overbought zone as well so when the price dipped around that area uh, it had some really nice corrections I suppose yes uh, as we have the overlaid RSI on our chart we can get rid of the regular RSI because this is really cute and really good as well you can adjust yes sorry <laughs> it was already stated in here yes you can adjust the threshold settings of the bull and bear zones it's good you can calculate the RSI upon on balance volume as well but let's go with the regular RSI here and you can adjust the length for example let makes the let let's make the length 8 a Fibonacci number and yes uh, you can see that the support and resistance zones changed uh, accordingly to the a period of RSI and you can uh, mark the actual bars according to the RSI's overbought or oversold conditions like this check the condition and check the marks on the bar the RSI at this bar is definitely at an oversold condition and we have the mark marking as well and you can enable or disable the aforementioned overlay display of the RSI I think I made a video about the DGT's uh, overlay displaying oscillators so uh, please go ahead and check that video as well and of course you can uh, mess with the placement of that oscillator let's make that top you can mess with the heat of it or height or I, I don't know how to pronounce that but this means that the peak level of the oscillator to be shown and you can uh, mess with the length that it will be 
di uh, displayed. 300, 400, oh, it's definitely good, yes. 450 maybe, yes. 480, uh, so 400, it's 499, I guess. 485, okay, never mind about that. Yes, as you he see here, that the price had its dip and then a support area here at this level a dip and then it plotted it as a support area as well as well here and now we had our dipping towards upwards around here and then that level happened to be our resistance zone right so it's good to have something or late on your chart in regards to supports and resistances yeah, taking its calculation from rsi like this this is definitely innovative shit around here and i seriously think that things will get uh, much better up until up from this point uh, because we have some kind of a template like this available with open source code so Thank you so much, DGT. This video is about it, and uh, let me come to the exemplary strategy. What can be implemented to profit from this script? Well, as the price is dipping certain areas uh, in order to get some buy and sell signals, you can use volume weighted MACD, for example, when the price is around the resistance zone area which is uh, calculated by momentum you can check for a volume signal from the volume weighted MACD which around here around here and around here at, in this case and then around here at this bar and around here at this bar and this as well volume based colored bars are also good for example dark green candles right or what you can do is you can plot some you can get some td sequentials on your chart and then you can check for td sequential setup signals around the aforementioned areas like this maybe like this not so much but definitely like this and then uh, this as well, a buy signal from TD Sequential on a fairly uptrend moment. Ah, might be considered. I really would like to do your own backtest. Think about it. Implement stuff that you already know. And try to make a good usage of my content, which will keep coming. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Lufi out. Peace out. Thank you. Bye, subscribe.